Chapter 7. Ancient Invaders. While Lergev rides the fleets of the mortals, uh, Eridan and his companions reach the former Pyr of Lore, a forest that used to be the pride of the Kingdom of Lore, but is now corrupted by the powers of the Forgotten Ones. Ancient evils that have been sleeping for millennia, now they will return and even though Imperials managed to defeat their leader, he is still alive and prepares to spread the corruption. His corruption. But I've got the area there with the big dick. No, I didn't. But... Shit. The forces we have sent to this place before have been destroyed by the mortals, along with the master of the forgotten. Yes, mere mortals can destroy his form, not his life essence. Only a powerful being can defeat him completely. They hail from another world. Their master sent them in order to conquer this life and destroy everything that they don't consider as perfect. That means everything but themselves in their terms. I manipulated humans and gave them the strength to defeat the invaders. They imprisoned the leader of the Forgotten, realizing that they were there was no way to kill him. You surely had a reason for not destroying him back then. I planned to do so. It didn't take too long until the demon soul ran the prison in order to gain the power of this creature. When the fools tried to absorb the leader of the Forgotten, he tricked them and escaped. Now he has returned. After years of hiding, he challenged the mortals again and lost. The Shades have reported that the Iron Fist is still in this area. Their leader, Garden Bloodclaw, the most cruel and untrustworthy general of the Imperials, has left this area not too long ago. The ignorant idiots are most likely unaware of the fact that they haven't won the fight in this forest yet. Yes, that would be typical for the simplicity of the mortal mind. Anyway, they are still here researching for some of the Forgotten. They won't gain anything from it though. Now we should get moving and deal with their with this interference. Alright. Uh, no RTS, but RPG again. We're gonna be controlling 12 units exact. Um, yeah, it seems like my items didn't get transferred to anyone. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, everyone must survive. Find and kill the demon lord. Alright. Alright. You tell me 18 plus Archimon model is not more more sexualized? Of course not. Dude, he doesn't have fucking physics for that thing, okay? <laughs> Come on, bro. Um, okay, so we have a few problems. Problem number one, we don't have a death coil anymore, so we can't heal up normally. Right? Man, the guy was my favorite hero and I killed him just like that. Are you fucking serious? Like, why? This is so sad. What about the custom map with chasing Archimond? Yeah, now everyone is talking about that. Okay, okay guys, relax. You literally saw the physics of the boobs. The boobs physics for the model in Warcraft. That map that we are talking about has nothing like that. It just literally printed dick on the Archimond. <laughs> Relax. Uh, I should disable that. It, it will not spawn a corpse otherwise. This guy spawns permanent skeletons. Damn. If you're farming just gacha pride, sure, sure, it might be your favorite, but like otherwise, like no dude, it's, 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 <laughs> just no. Ah, we got this. And I, I'm not like liking the undead campaign so far. They're like, okay, so they work in their own interest, like always scheming, etc. So they want to grow strong and then defeat them, defeat the demons themselves. Basically, what actually like um, 
every race except maybe elves and humans have been doing so far. They don't care too much about others and they want to, you know, like capitalize on stuff and become strong. Strong enough to like, uh, you know, accomplish their goals themselves. And like they know, they have more knowledge and awareness. They scout, you know, like they put observer wards on other races. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, dude. Well, that was unheard of. Why did you do that, motherfucker? She charmed my fiend in his last seconds of life. Yeah, I killed uh, the demon lord. Yeah, and like, there is also very, very little of RTS so far, if you have noticed, right? Uh, when I was fighting with the battleships, not much. Uh, there were like three or four missions like that. Where it's just RPG, you know? You, just, you don't make units, you don't play RTS. I still cannot believe that some of the elves were the colors of the Iron Fist and the blasted Blood Claw. Everyone hates Blood Claw, but actually he's a very cool guy. I don't understand their, like, their anger, their comments. Gerdon is literally the biggest chat and the coolest guy in the entire campaign. End my torment. And the bloody cringe lord Rahandir, like, fuck that guy. He's ten times worse, you know? Uh Anyone have played Warhammer MMORPG? Yare yare yare. That Arc Rage, by the way, has very heavy... Yeah, he has a lot of intelligence for a hero of his level. Yeah, the problem is that we don't have any way to regenerate HP. The only way to like provide mo ourselves more tanking, I guess, would be to just keep on making skeletons like that. Alright, so this is a mountain, we can climb it, obviously. Yara yara yara. I'm not exactly sure where am I supposed to go. I'm too afraid of missing something out, you know? Uh, we might make a circle because like yeah this is going up and then oh oh it's a dead end i think oh wait this is the dead end i feel like i'm supposed to go there unless no there's a road here all right let's go left and my spider senses tell me that we should go left we got this trust Garden is real chat. Oh yeah, if you like Garden, second book is for you. Nice. If I must. Well, if you like Garden, you will love the second human book. I mean, he's a cool guy. Like, yeah, he's like Garethus, but you know, not too racist, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. He's okay. He doesn't like, you know, exclaim like phrases on left and right, like cringe phrases, you know. Let's say, uh, like Adele, you know, seeking the power, I want power, no, like, he's like, you know. Alright, we're gonna kill on that. Let's go kill on that, guys. Oh, uh, there is some faceless piece of shit in this forest, let's go and kill him. There are demons coming, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him, you know, like, he's like, he just, he's like, cool guy, right? Man of action. Less talking, more action. That's why I also like orcs. Yeah, Garden and Orc campaign are by far my favorite. But we some deaths are like, ah, uh, uh, let's investigate the dungeon. The complete, like, the whole mission was about nothing. 
It was just bullshit. We were like investigating the dungeons. Okay. Then what? You know, like... <laughs> I don't know, Kev. Was your investigation good? Humans wanted to blow up the tunnels. So the, ho the whole mission was, you know, like about learning that humans wanted to blow up the tunnels. And at the end, like, nothing was done about that in anyway. <laughs> I did not care. Crown of Kings? Imagine I didn't come back for this. This is the best item so far I I've ever seen. And it dropped from Firebox. Cor corrupted Firebox. Huh? Bloody crown of kings! Alright, uh, okay, okay, this is time. This is the run, boys. We're gonna... We are doing it. We're gonna stack up... The Eridan, cause he has the best stats, as it seems to be. Okay. Okay, this is my creation. This is my creation. Probably also that. Yeah, like that, okay. Let's go. So yeah, by far, I feel like by far... Uh, um, people were saying that Undead Campaign was kinda explaining what was going on with the other races, right? Because like, and that's a kind of ma a kind of masterminds. But to be honest, nah, not really. They're like, eh, we wanna control the sea. Let's blow up the sh like the ships of the like, humans and orcs. There was no like you know superior motive to that. W what I expected from on that is that, um, for example, they foreshadowed. Uh, if, if if some humans or like orcs would you know possess certain things it would actually get into the hands of undeads like undeads would benefit i mean demons demons would benefit a lot from you know certain actions happening in the story like for example they're like you know 300 iq like lelouch you know code gears stress like i you know death note uh like and undead, that's literally trying to save humans and orcs but uh, from making mistakes because it's gonna actually benefit the demons in the end but at, at the end of the day nothing like that happened nothing like that happened and that's just Pepegas who just want you know like more corpses and more graveyards and they don't give a fuck about anything else and they say like oh okay we're gonna just defeat everyone you know uh, we're gonna grow strong and defeat demons by ourselves we don't give a fuck about humans and orcs so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's slightly better than human campaign, but besides from that, it's eh. Heroes also suck. I, I have literally nothing to press. Not a single button except for the, this, you know, this LU spell. Now speaking English, you just said what? I said that I expected Undead to be more cunning and their moves to have more meaning. But in reality their moves had no meaning but selfish selfish goals. To just have more skeletons and graveyards. The reason why Undead Fleet appeared and destroyed the fleet of the orcs and humans was nothing more but to gain like more territory so they would I know have more chances against demons because of that they are totally not trying you know to like mastermind it they are just you know messing up everyone <laughs> like, like, like that's stupid I, I, I like undeads I do not like undeads in the, in the slightest by far oh yes he said Rakhandir is greater than Garden. No, I said the opposite. <laughs> Let the living beware. I, I don't know, dude. 
like my theory of undead before I started playing campaign was they destroyed the ships because demons were trying to capitalize somewhat on the war. If I must. The last wave is approaching. What does that mean? Any what? What does that mean? What do you mean last wave, wave is approaching? I don't have a base to protect, like I don't care like if they're coming somewhere. And uh, kind of whatever. Yeah, so you know like... I thought like undeads, you know, would be very smart. I, I feel like it would be so cool to write a script. Like undeads are just very wise, you know, uh, creatures. Because they have lived for the longest. Like, you know, like, this Rahandir, right? He, he used to be a dragon slayer. Now, you know, he's undead. Maybe he, he lived for, like, very, for a millennia, right? Literally millennia. Millennia, millennia, whatever. A thousand years. And, um... But, yeah, they, they, they don't. They just don't do it. They, like, the undead side, you know... They say... Fuck you all, you're gonna get the better fleet than all of you, orcs and and and, and, oh, and humans. <laughs> and uh, deal with the demons ourselves, which basically every race does. Orcs wanted to eliminate everyone, like humans, and then defeat demons after all themselves too. And so the humans as well. The humans just fighting demons, but also killing orcs. Meanwhile. And also killing some undeads as well. Like trying to kill Rahandir, trying to kill like uh, this Forgotten, you know. So like, no one is different. Literally like, everyone is this, at, by, at the end of the day, everyone is literally the fucking same. And undeads are uh, kinda... You know, they could be so smart, but actually they're, they're not. At least they're not being shown as to be like, very smart, I know. Uh, kinda sad. Kinda sad, I don't know. Expectation and reality. Kinda. Okay, this is a very small pathing. I hope it is it's gonna give me another crown or something. Crown of Kings. Okay, but can I get like one spell that will give me a regeneration? I mean like healing. Direct my hatred. End my torment. Tremble, Forgotten Ones, your end is upon you. Like, on the other hand, yeah, sure. Like, they're using, I know, Crypt Fiends. Like, they, they're enslaving Crypt Fiends. Like, they're probably right now enslaving Faceless Ones. Like, capitalizing on humans and orcs. Like... Eh? <laughs> Their actions explained throughout the campaign then, like, they are kinda... I know, dude. Not so cool, I guess, after all. As I thought it would be. Work of two best lore. I know, right? Nice charm when all the units are above level six, and I can't I can't charm them anyway. Pog champ. Alright, I feel like I was supposed to go there actually. <laughs> oh, it's a main quest. Oh no, I didn't complete the side quest. Oh, the great watcher himself decided to show up this time, not manipulating mortals, 
in to fight me this time. This time, this time. Nice writing, bro. Anyway, now we're just the weak servant of a master who was killed shortly after your defeat. Your race was destroyed long ago. Prepare to face your fate, invader. Foolish corpse, you and your pathetic slaves will fail. Will fall. This time perfection shall prevail. Oh, it's a boss fight! Uh, Rahan Deer versus Jake Paul. Let's go. My bow is ready. Alright, it's, it's time to wake up in micro actually. Um, stun? Uh, si no? Silence, silence, silence. Roll, this the thing. Speed on him, speed on him. Um, stun again, stun again, stun again. Uh, unholy frenzy, unholy frenzy, ouch. Scroll. Uh, Frostbolt, Frostbolt, Frostbolt. Throw your thing. Silence him again. Stun again, stun again, stun again. Well, eh. No, that's impossible. I'm a perfection. Stupid alien. Get wrecked by undead. Undead balance. No! Finally, I already feared that this creature would never shut up. His talk about being perfect started to annoy me. Dude! Who asked? Fucking Rahandir! Talking about Rahandir, the darkest. The, 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 the fucking. Drake skull. All the time, and then someone else talks about himself. He's pissed. Now, Sapira, give him a moment. Mergazel, show her, as you wish. He, he is one of us. Yes, I died in a battle centuries ago and was reanimated by my master Eridan. He ordered me to infiltrate their ranks in order to delay their invasion as much as possible. Now I have lured some into this forest to weaken the defenses of the Forgotten. I knew that both of you and the mortals would deal with the demons sooner or later. We have much to talk about, Margazar. It's time for you to return to the Dead Mountain. Of course, master. Alright. So the Margazar was an uh, undead spy on the Forgotten Ones. Yes. Very cool. 21 minutes. Okay, we are speedrunning it. Nice.